difference in Christ. Welcome to our daily reflection for the 1st of September. It is Friday of the 21st week in the ordinary time. Happy new month. May this month bring you joy and happiness in abundance through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we begin the season of creation with the celebration of the World Day of Prayer for the care of creation. In it, we are called to renew our personal participation in our special vocation as custodians of creation. We must be thankful for what God has endowed us with and entrusted to our care. We have sinned in many ways as a result of our lack of care for creation. We can begin afresh by paying more attention to the other created sins and protecting our common home. The ecumenical community around the world unites in prayers and efforts in this season. The season of creation is the annual Christian celebration to pray and respond together to the cry of creation. The ecumenical family around the world unites to listen and care for our common home, the oikos of God. The season celebration begins on the 1st of September, the day of prayer for creation, and ends on the 4th of October, the feast of St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of ecology, beloved by many Christian dominations. The theme for this year's celebration is let justice and peace flow. Dear friends, let us begin this season by creating a moment of prayer to give thanks to God for greater things. Our gospel today is taken from Matthew chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. In it, we have the parable of the ten maidens. Jesus uses a natural cultural experience to teach the disciples on the need for proper preparation for the kingdom. In the story, ten maidens were to meet the bridegroom and to lead him into the wedding banquet. Such ceremonies will begin only after nightfall. A number of things could have prevented an early arrival of the bridegroom. Five of the maidens were prepared for eventualities, while the others were not. The foolish ones had the barest minimum required to keep their lamps burning. The bridegroom came at a late hour, and the lamps were running out. The wise ones had extra oil for their lamps, while the foolish ones had none. Their plea to share with the wise fell on deaf ears, and while they went out to buy, the bridegroom arrived and the hall was locked. They knocked at the door, but were not allowed into the hall. True wisdom must be applied in preparing for the kingdom of heaven. We must understand that our initial acceptance of the gospel message is not all that is needed to go to heaven. There are those whose Christianity rests solely on what is obligatory. For instance, Sunday Mass only. They have no time for any extra church activities. The extra oil needed is our good deeds, the daily living of our yes to the gospel message. If someone accepts the gospel but buries his or her talents in the ground, he will still be punished for not using his face in a profitable manner. How ready and prepared are you for the kingdom? Let us conclude with the season of creation prayer. Let us pray. Creator of all, from your communion of love, life sprung forth like a mighty river and the whole cosmos came into being. On this earth of overflowing love, the word was made flesh and went forth with the life-giving waters, proclaiming peace and justice for all creation. You called human beings 
to till and keep your garden, you placed us into right relationship with each creature, but we failed to listen to the cries of the earth and the cries of the most vulnerable. We broke with the flowing communion of love and sinned against you by not safeguarding the conditions for life. We lament the loss of our fellow species and their habitats. We grieve the loss of human cultures along with the lives and livelihoods that have been displaced or perished. And we ache at the sight of an economy of death, war, and violence that we have inflicted on ourselves and on the earth. Open our ears to your creative, reconciling, and sustaining word that calls to us through the book of scripture and book of creation. Bless us once again with your life-giving waters so that the Creator spirit may let justice and peace flow in our hearts and overflow into all creation. Open our hearts to receive the living waters of God's justice and peace and to share it with our suffering brothers and sisters, all creatures around us and all creation. Bless us to work together with all people of goodwill so that the many streams of the living waters of God's justice and peace may become a mighty river all over the world. In the name of the one who came to proclaim good news to all creation, Jesus Christ, amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Happy New Month.